Hello, I'm Adam and this is a ASP32C6 Vroom 1, whatever uh, What's about that? Uh, well, this is special ESP version which uh, is Zigbee enabled and uh, this is uh, this one exactly is a uh, now no ESP I think something like from the Node MCU family or something uh, there are some a few other models like Xiao ESP32 C6 Seed Studio yeah whatever generally C6 is the number uh, which uh, says that it can talk Zigbee. And finally we are in a place when we can uh, write Arduino sketches, upload them to this uh, ESP and uh, it can talk Zigbee. And of course we can integrate with Home Assistant etc etc. Yeah? Uh, and for this purpose I will use uh, just uh, LED just to have uh, some kind of an indicator and yeah, I will dirty place it like there. And uh, yeah, let's move uh, to the PC. Okay, uh, so first uh, we have to start with uh, maybe not library, but it's a set of uh, examples for the Xiao ESP32 C6. And uh, of course, it supports uh, other versions of ESP32 C6, like mine. And uh, but there we've got example for the Seed Studio one, which is very very tiny. And uh, what we can say about this, there is a platform I/O nodes because something is not uh, merged yet. And if we scroll down, we've got Arduino IDE nodes. And uh, yeah, we have to add uh, this link in the Arduino uh, preferences. And next, uh, you have to yeah install the ESP32 library. So uh, we have to go to tools to boards and board boards manager, and you have to write ESP32. And uh, as you can see, you have to have a ESP32 Arduino by Expressive Systems, which uh, if you've got the old one, you have to update it, which uh, gives us support for plenty of ESP32s. And after that, you can open an uh, uh, example from uh, the library that I showed you. This is the library. Uh, to be honest, I verified uh, two library, two uh, examples, and uh, the off light was working for me, and that's how the structure looks like. Yeah, so we've got everything there. Uh, I requested ChatGPT to simplify the example, and uh, that's uh, how it looks like. So uh, we'll be acting. Uh, our ESP will be acting as a simple uh, lamp or re relay switch, whatever we call it. Uh, so we've got the relay pin, so the pin uh, which will be on or off when we will uh, toggle it in the Home Assistant. We've got endpoint which is 1 or, or 10 in this example, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are creating an object. Uh, then we've got a function which sets the relay if it was previous state so you, it changes it to different state uh, we've got uh, setup uh, like in the standard Arduino so we've got the default off and the output next we are setting the model so it will be expressive and ZBR relay uh, this we are setting this function when the call on Zigbee will happen, and we are adding a point. <coughs> then we just uh, initialize Zigbee begin, and that seems to it. So generally, very 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 basic example, but there is a catch. Uh, I will connect this ESP. One moment. Of course, there are two USB ports, so I will connect it to the uh, correct one, so to the USB to serial uh, bridge, not to the OTG. 
And uh, okay, uh, as you can see, it got detected. Uh, so uh, I had to choose uh, from the boards ESP32 Arduino boards, and I had to choose the Xiao ESP32 C6. Then uh, what I have to set there? In the examples that I showed you, there is a image file uh, called tools config, and you can see there are requirements what we need to set. So board, as I mentioned, port, yeah, we have to set correct the COM port. Then we have to, uh, we can erase all, all we can erase all flash uh, before sketch upload, but that's optional. And the core debug level, we can set it to any we want. Uh, by enabling it, we'll just have uh, some debug informations on the serial when we are connected using USB. Yeah? But very important thing is that we need to, to set partition scheme to ZigBee 4 megabytes with PFFS. And of course, ZigBee mode, uh, ZigBee and device. So, uh, like summarizing, we have to go to tools and make sure that we've got correct board, uh, correct port, and uh, those uh, debug level uh, option is uh, optional, and we don't need to erase uh, whole flash. But we need to make sure that we've got partition scheme set to ZigBee for megabytes with SPFFS. And uh, ZigBee mode needs to be set to ZigBee and device. And now if I will try to upload the sketch, it's compiling and it's done uploading. So now I will disconnect the ESP. And now our goal is to add it to ZigBee to MQTT. So uh, how you do that in a very good way. Just uh, click allow uh, for entrance and just connect the ESP32, so power it up. And uh, after boot, as you can see, it uh, appeared pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, as we can see, it's uh, not supported, but anyway, we've got there what we want, so I can press on and off, and it works. Yeah. And uh, yeah, generally that's about it. We can of course set uh, our friendly name and yeah. Uh, to be honest, I'm using this uh, device for like two or three days. And uh, yeah, it uh, behaves uh, stable. I mean, it connects to its mesh, so I can connect it to a router. It connects to a router and uh, yeah, it works pretty well. So I think I will use it in our next project or something. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.